Former President George H.W. Bush is resting comfortably in a Houston hospital this morning. The 92-year-old is in stable, is stable in the intensive care unit. A family spokesman says he has been battling pneumonia. His wife, 91-year-old Barbara Bush, is also in the hospital as a precaution. The former first lady is not in intensive care. Omar Villafranca is outside Houston Methodist Hospital, where the 41st president is being treated. Omar, good morning. How's he doing? Good morning. This is President Bush's sixth day in the hospital. He was quietly admitted on Saturday. According to a family spokesman, his wife of 72 years, Barbara, was taken to the hospital on Wednesday after she was not feeling well for several days. He's stable now and resting comfortably in the ICU. He's going to stay there for observation. President Bush is recovering from what spokesman Jim McGrath described as an acute respiratory problem stemming from pneumonia. Doctors intubated the 41st president Wednesday for a procedure to protect and clear his airway. There's not a lot of money to be made betting against George Bush. McGrath says the 92-year-old is a fighter. It's a serious situation. He's 92. He has pneumonia. He's in the ICU. Uh, but again, you don't bet against George Bush. The former president hasn't let his age slow him down. He jumped out of an airplane for his 90th birthday. But this is the fourth hospital stay in five years, and he is suffering from a disease similar to Parkinson's that has limited his mobility. President Bush sent President-elect Trump a note apologizing that neither he nor his wife would be able to attend Friday's inauguration. My doctor says if I sit outside in January, it likely will put me six feet under. Same for Barbara, he joked, before wishing the president-elect well. On Wednesday, Mr. Trump responded with a tweet of support for the couple and thanked the former president for the wonderful letter. President Bill Clinton also sent his regards to his predecessor and Mrs. Bush, signing the post, Love 42. And during his final press conference Wednesday, President Obama expressed gratitude. They have been a constant source of friendship and support. We want to send our prayers and our love to them. Members of the president's staff and his son, Neil, are by his side. Another one of his sons, President George W. Bush, still plans to attend the inauguration tomorrow. Charlie? Oh, my thanks. I think all Americans feel exactly what the president said. Um, this man was much loved. Yes. And is, is much loved. He is much loved. By everybody.